Alright guys, I thought that I would make a small video for you, just showing you the game modes that they offer in Versus. Um, I will also make a, a, an upcoming video with the different classes. Um, I did show them off in my other videos, but I will talk about them and sort of give you my opinions and feedback on them. Um, but this video is going to be pretty simple. You can see the names of the maps, you can probably guess the modes, sorry. You can probably guess what it's like. Um, bag and Tag, I've actually played Bag and Tag, if you look at my uh, dark map, the super dark map, that's Bag and Tag, that's the only map that you play Bag and Tag on, I don't know why that's the case, but it's an awesome map, it's fun, um, as you can see, search the area to find the best cover and kill everyone, so you collect up the tags and you're boosting your score, um, Capture is to uh, steal the enemy's warhead, as you can see, deliver it to safety, so they obviously have to defend their warhead, you have to capture their warhead and, and carry it back. It's like, a, it's like a payload, I suppose. It's similar to a payload. Um, domination, capture and keep core points. Now, domination is like a, a three, usually a three point in A, B and C, and it will be like three buildings or whatever it may be. You have to go and capture the points. And, um, you know... The best idea is for you to keep hold of two points so you're getting more points than your ally, than your enemy, sorry. Um, free for all is exactly what it says on the label. It is just deathmatch. You know, plant the bomb. So, uh, as you can see, this is, you know, planting the bomb. One team plant the bomb, one team stop them from planting the bomb. That's pretty much simple. Storm. Now, Storm's a little different. It's basically, um, there are like three points you start at the first point you have one team who've got to defend their points and you have one team who are attacking the points and what you've got to do is you've got to stay on the point to slowly decrease the points uh, point uh, the, the points point <laughs> you know then after once you've taken that point you will move on to the next one and the next one until you get to the enemy's base and then obviously you can win but they have to defend it now this match lasts for 15 minutes each side because you switch over and you become a defender after you've been an attacker it lasts 15 minutes each way so you have 15 minutes to get to the enemy's base um, and they each time you take a point they clock it as to how fast you took the point so if both teams end up with the same amount of uh, stages completed it will base it on the speed in which you completed it team deathmatch pretty simple team deathmatch um, like I've said before but I will go over it again just to show you and um, the cooperative missions are just like instances you will go in with a squad of if I remember correctly it's four or five um, you will go in with a squad of people, and you will go and, and um, you will go and try and complete the mission. Uh, usually, just pushing through points and things like this. Uh, it's split up into easy, normal, hard, and then classified, which is, I assume, very hard. As you can see, these are the amount of uh, crowns that you can earn, and that's the currency at the bottom here. Now, if you play a lot of these missions, it's quite good because you can go inside the store and you can buy items that are just for the crowns. So if that's the sort of player that you are, then you can have... If you've had enough of versus or you're not having a good time and you want to practice your aim, go in one of these, normal, or even go into hard and just have some fun. Uh, special operations, these are... I, I'm pretty sure that these are operations that start each day. They're different each day, I think. And when you complete them... Um, I assume it, you can see here you get a random box and then the next one will be a random box and you have to pay these tokens. Now if I remember correctly each day you get three tokens for free. You can buy more tokens if you want to, your choice. Um, but if you see, uh, if you go into the different versions I assume that um, you get a better box for completing it in hard. So these are the game modes. I didn't want to take too much time to go over them because really it's pretty simple. Um, I will try and give you gameplay of each game mode. Now I have given you gameplay of quite a lot of them already. The, the issue that I have is I don't want to flood the channel with video, 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 video of Warframe. 
I want to bring Blackshot content to you, I want to hopefully bring other content to you, whether that's Team Fortress 2 or whether that's some Counter-Strike Go. I don't want to just give you all Warframe, but what I will say is the Blackshot videos will not will be thinning. I will be making less and less and less because I'm playing the game less and less and less. So I'm sorry about that, and like I said in a previous video about me quitting Blackshot, at the end of the month, I will be um, just not playing very much at all when the end of the month comes. And um, until I see some reasonable changes that make me go back into the game, I don't want to waste my time or my money in there. And I will be focusing more on Warface, but for anybody who doesn't particularly like Warface, do not worry, I will, like I said, try and get my into Counter-Strike Go. I'm a little scared of going in there because it's very, very competitive, and I'm bad. And I know I'm bad in this game too, but I will also be bad in Counter-Strike, so I, uh, I want to just, just build myself up a little bit. But thank you for watching as usual. I hope that this was helpful for you. I will bring you a class overview uh, very shortly, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.